Jay isn't dead. Let me explain. So this has been a popular theory among the Murder Jones community and I can understand why. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, Murder Jones is a show on the Glitch channel, made by SMG4 and Liam Vickers. It's about a world where humans were wiped out, leaving worker robots to take their place and live their own lives. Their parent company, JC Jensen in space, didn't like how they weren't working. So like you do, you send multiple kill robots that are equipped with more weapons than you can count to take care of this problem. I highly recommend you check out the pilot, but the sad news is that the continuation of the series won't be happening till near the end of the year. But before we get into today's video, I would like to ask if you could please leave a like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you enjoyed the video. I also got a Discord server if you would like to join that, if you want to talk to me, fellow viewers or fans of Murder Drones. Today I would like to discuss some fan theories as well as my own since it will be a while till the series sees the light of day again. First one, I don't think is likely, but Uzi's mom being a murder drone. The reason I personally don't think this is, is because worker drones have always lived in fear of the disassembly drones, so they obviously didn't live in peace and harmony. Maybe it could have been some sort of forbidden love between Khan and this mysterious mother figure, but then he wouldn't be held on a pedestal by most of his people. It also doesn't explain why he's so scared of them. The most plausible theory that I have come up with, and I think is pretty convincing, is that Uzi's mom was killed by a murder drone. The only evidence that Uzi's mom exists is this half-burned photo. Wait a burned photo? Now, what do we know could burn through almost anything with a single touch? Yes, this yellow acid in their tails. Uzi's mom was probably killed with the picture being the only remaining thing left. It would also explain why Khan is so cautious and afraid, because he has witnessed something like this already with someone he knew or loved, and he couldn't bear to see that happen again. Uzi becomes a murder drone, a very popular theory among the community, and one that seems very plausible. Her glitching out seems to be a big plot point that will bring some more conflict into the series. There are a few ways in which she could become a drone, and I'll be mentioning it in the last theory. But some people are pointing out how N-Spit that repaired Uzi's hand messed with her code, which could eventually make her more cynical to kill all humans, or even her own. We could even see her make some upgrades to her appearance, making herself both physically and mentally a murder drone. But the spit thing is sort of a stretch. Now, there are multiple reasons as to why people think Jay is not dead, even though we see her get obliterated. The possibility of Jay being alive is actually pretty high, considering she seemed to be a vital character that bet the dust in the first episode. And since we are dealing with sentient robots that are just bits of code, could Jay be hiding in Uzi's body, waiting for the perfect time to strike? Could she be the one behind her glitching and this mysterious symbol, causing Jay's murder drone code to merge with Uzi's? But how? Do you guys remember that EMP? Maybe she copied her own code into Uzi as a last resort if things went south. Which, it did. Even if this isn't the case, what about the body? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some people have suggested that maybe she could regenerate, like how N did, but all that's left is just her legs and arms, where N was just shot in the head. Like, there's barely anything left. I'd be very happy if any of these theories in some way became true. I don't think all of them would happen, but there is plenty of time to discuss and talk about the show as we wait patiently for the next episode. If you have any theories, ideas, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I read all the comments and would love to hear from you guys. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and share with a friend who also might like this content. Make sure to join the Discord if you want to talk all things murder drones, other shows, movies, or even just chat and share memes among fellow viewers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Thank you.